Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnet.com, and this is a software tour of the Sprint Evo Shift 4G on Sprint's WiMAX network. So let's get started. So this device is running HTC Sense user interface atop of Android 2.2, so you do get all that flash-enabled web browsing and all the other great features of Android 2.2. If we go into the uh, applications here, we have Adobe Reader, Amazon MP3, app sharing, which allows you to share your applications with your friends or uh, colleagues or whoever. We have our calculator, our calendar, our call history, we have our camcorder, and our camera. The camera has some pretty cool features, which is which is pretty different from other cameras. If we go into the menu over here, we can change the brightness and exposure. We can change the image properties, so sap contrast, saturation, sharpness. We can add certain effects, and we can also change the settings. So we can just go back into the applications. We have car panel, which allows you to use your device if you're driving. Of course, you should probably stop and change some of these settings before you continue on driving. And you can also make calls through a Bluetooth connection or wired headset. So we can just go back. Oh, actually I have to hit menu and exit. Go back into the applications. We have a clock, which is standard on most HTC and Android devices. So you can view the nighttime clock. And this one also has a timer and a stopwatch. So we can go back. We can view the desk clock, which turns your Evo Shift into a sort of a, a desk clock, of course. And we can also change some of the settings down here. It goes back into the uh, clock features. So we can go to Facebook. And we've all seen that. This device actually has the flashlight application enabled on it. So if I click on here, I can turn the flashlight on. And as you can see, the LED turns into a flashlight, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's three separate brightness levels, and you can also change some settings down here, get auto flash and SOS, so we can just go back. We have an FM radio. Unfortunately, this device does not have headsets included, so you will need to either purchase your own headset or use one from a previous phone, or of course you can always use, just use some headphones, and we can just go. We have footprints, which allows you to geotag various photos that you take, so if I go here, I can create a new footprint, and if I like, I can uh, just snap a picture, and then it will locate my GPS settings and apply that to the photo, so I can share that with other people. We have Friend Stream, which allows you to update multiple statuses on Facebook, Twitter, and other social networks. I don't have it set up right now. We have the gallery, so we can view some photos here. And it's a little bit different on a, a default Android. Luckily, HTC has incorporated their Sense user interface on this application as well. So it does make it uh, pretty neat because you get the reflection on the bottom and some of the other settings. We have Gmail. We have Google Search. We have HTC Mobile Guide, which is pretty much just a favorites that launches the internet browser. We have Internet. We have Amazon Kindle, which allows you to read books on your Android device. We have Google Latitude. We have any other mail service we want. We have Google Maps, the market, messaging, music, which is pretty neat because HTC has also incorporated their Sense user interface into this. So we do get these neat album art transitions from one album to the next. Most carriers these days put a lot of their own applications onto the phone. Luckily, Sprint hasn't done that too much. They've put some Sprint NASCAR stuff, so you can view all the NASCAR ratings and all the other great stuff about NASCAR. So we'll just wait for this to load. And we can view this little blurb about uh, Jimmy McMurray. So we can just go back. We have the navigation app for Android. We have the news, news and weather. We have Peep, which is a Twitter application, so we can tweet directly from our device. I don't have that set up yet. We have People, which is our contact list, so we can view all of our contacts. So we have Places, which is tied into Google Maps, so I can view all these uh, restaurants, coffee shops, bars, and all these other businesses in my proximity. So I can. Just... A full version of Quick Office is included. Unfortunately, I don't have anything installed on the SD card because this is a brand new device. I can search for People. So this way I can quickly search through all of my contacts if I have hundreds of contacts on here. I have settings, I have setup, I have Sprint Football Live, so I can go here and view all my uh, sports teams information and all the other information around the country. Sprint Hotspot, which allows you to turn your 4G and 3G enabled connection into a hotspot so you can use it on your computer or any other, other smartphone or device like an iPad or iPod or anything like that. 
We have Sprint TV, which is paid for service, so I can watch something live. Let's say that I just want to watch something quick and easy. We'll go to Hollywood Hills here. And the video quality is really poor. I'm even on a 4G connection right here, and as you can see, it's uh, not very clear at all. So I can just go back. We have Sprint Zone, which is pretty much just an advertising application that shows you all the great deals that Sprint has going on at the time. We can view our stocks, go to Google Talk, play Teeter, Telenav GPS, which is a paid for navigation program that Sprint has put on this device. We have our videos, if you have any videos saved on the storage card, voice dialer, voice recorder, voice search, voicemail, so this allows you to set up your voicemail really easily, get weather information, and YouTube. So I'm going to test the speed of the 4G connection that I have going on right now. And it's not the best service, the application said it was fair, so I'm going to hit begin test and wait for it to load. So the speeds are somewhat adequate, not the best speeds that you could have in a 4G connection. Of course I am inside and WiMAX doesn't work that great through walls. So you probably will get better service if you're in a car or even outside or even near a window. I'm not really near anything right now. So this has been the software tour of the Sprint Evo Shift 4G on Sprint's WiMAX network. And if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also leave some comments down below. We like to hear what you're saying. And in case you missed it, you can check out the unboxing. I'll post a link right about here. And you can also check out the hardware tour and I'll post a link right about here. Thanks for watching.